Hi everyone, Steve here with a quick electronics tip. Today we're going to build a resistor network out of discrete resistor components. Why would you want to do this? Well, I'm working on this PCB and in my case, I've ordered all these different components and installed them, but I forgot to order the resistor network, which goes right there. And my local electronics shop doesn't have it in stock and I really don't want to pay the $5 shipping to order just one electronics component that costs less than 50 cents. So here is a resistor network I've already built. This is a bust resistor network. As you can see, there is one lead that is shared across the top of the resistors and then comes down as one of the pins that can be used in the installation. I don't like the way this turned out, so I'm gonna build another one and demonstrate how I went about doing so. I'm going to use this piece of perf board to help me line up these resistors while I'm connecting them together. You don't have to do this. You can do it directly in the PCB that you're working with. And what I'm going to do is as I put them down, I'm going to fold the back of the lead so that it stays in place and that this thing is not going to move up and down. And I'm just going to repeat this for all the resistors that I'm interested in. And I'm going to make sure that they're adjacent to one another. So once that's done, I'm going to try to align these so that they all have the same level or height. Uh, this isn't necessary, it's just an aesthetic thing. Uh, and when I'm comfortable with how they look, I'm going to uh, tape them down with a piece of tape. I'm going to use a transparent capped on tape. You don't have to use capped on tape. This is just heat resistant tape so that when you do soldering, uh, you're going to be pretty much assured that nothing is going to melt. I'm going to secure these down and this is just going to help them stay in place when I start soldering things together. Okay, once you're happy with the alignment of this assembly, take one of the straightest leads from the opposite ends of the assembly and fold it across so that it makes contact with each of these other resistor leads. Now the goal is to get this bent lead as close as possible to the tips of the other resistors so you have a low profile, but that truly isn't necessary. As long as you're able to solder the connections to each of these points, then you'll have a working resistor network. Once you're done soldering, go ahead and inspect the joints, make sure everything looks okay and it's suitable to your standards. I'm not very happy with these solder joints here. There's too much solder on these connections, but it'll suit the demonstration. When I'm ready, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this lead that's hanging out. It's a little too short to wrap around. And then I'm gonna take this final lead and I'm gonna bend it so that it becomes my new common lead. It's gonna hang off the side of the resistor network, just like that. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and continue to trim off these leads and then I'll have a finished component. Just for reference, this is the type of assembly that we're striving to accomplish. It's nice and tidy, it uses a minimal amount of solder and all the leads look perfectly straight. Finally, insulate your assembly and go ahead and install it in your project. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. And if you have any comments or suggestions or want to share how you approach these problems, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.